Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we are doing a new all day clean with me. We are currently under quarantine and I think we're going on our fourth, maybe fifth week of being in this house. And with that, I have not been able to stay on top of my day to day zone cleaning and daily block cleaning, which has left me a little bit behind. So in today's video, we are literally spending the entire day cleaning my whole house. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica and here on my channel, we focus on all things mom life, whether that's cooking or cleaning or finding ways to keep your family healthy. But everything we do here in this space does have a bit of a healthy twist as I am a holistic nutritionist and a nutritional practitioner. I like to find easy, quick, and affordable ways to integrate healthy living in the everyday mom's life. If that sounds like something that you might be interested in, I would love it if you take two seconds, literally like one, two, open up the description box down below and hit the big red subscribe button. And then that way you don't miss a single video. All right, we've got a lot of stuff on our to-do list, so let's jump in and get to cleaning. All right guys, we're gonna get started by stripping my bed. So this is something I like to do typically every single Thursday, I wash all of our bedding. But as I mentioned in the intro, I've been a little bit behind with having everybody in the house. So I'm taking off all the sheets because this way by the time I'm done, everything will be washed and dried for me to put back on the bed. If you follow me over on Instagram, then you probably know that our washing machine actually broke the day after I filmed this video. So as I'm recording this voiceover, I'm having a little pang of anxiety of wishing I would have done more laundry on this day prior to it breaking as I've been washing everything painlessly by hand. But thankfully we're having a new one installed later this week, which of course is not ideal timing, but we have to do what we have to do. After I get the laundry started, I'm going to go ahead and straighten up both Ronan and Sawyer's room before I wipe down all the mirrors and begin dusting. If you're new here, let me introduce you to the Nano Towel, the one and only cleaning tool you will pretty much ever need. I do have a video, I will link it for you on the screen here and down below as well, where I show you how I clean my entire house just using this towel, but I love this towel. Right now I'm simply using water on this nano cloth to clean all of our mirrors. I will say you do need to put in a little bit more elbow grease, but it gets everything off and it leaves absolutely no streaks. So I love to use our nano towel on the mirrors. Then I'm gonna be taking that same nano towel with a little bit of this BioClean all-purpose cleaner. I love this stuff, it's amazing. Again, it doesn't leave any streaks. And I'm gonna be doing a wet and a dry dust. So I like to spray a little bit of the BioClean with some water on my nano towel after I chug my coffee. Then I go back over everything with this yellow towel to dry it and remove any remaining dust. When all of this quarantine and COVID outbreak started to happen, we had actually scheduled to get all of our windows cleaned professionally, both inside and outside. But obviously under the current circumstances, we don't want anybody in our home cleaning our windows. So as I'm dusting the windowsills, I'm looking out these dirty windows and it's driving me nuts, but I'm trying to be patient with the process and just accept what I can and clean what I can. Speaking of which, I always love to clean in between the crib. Ronan's actually really great at this. He'll take our small vacuum and vacuum in between the crib railing. And also you'll see I do this likewise on his bed. Now moving into Ronan's bedroom, I'm just taking everything on his dresser. I'm lightly dusting it. He actually has decorated his dresser. So I try to keep things neat and in order for him because he has a very particular way that he likes it decorated. But I'm taking that same nanocloth with the bio 
clean and then again the yellow towel and I'm going through and dusting everything. Now this is just more of a maintenance clean as I do tend to prior to quarantine do this every single week so it wasn't too bad but there was a little bit more dust accumulated than we typically have. Moving into our guest suite, I'm giving this room a quick dust. I did find that this room was a little bit dustier than the others. I'm not sure if it's because it hasn't been used in about four or five weeks. My mom typically spends the night one night a week to help me out while Kaya is traveling, but she had been gone in Florida and then COVID happened. So now that everything is dusted, I'm moving on to my favorite part of cleaning and that is vacuuming. We're gonna be vacuuming the entire upstairs, first floor, and we're gonna be vacuuming my basement. I haven't shown my basement a while in a cleaning video. And while I was cleaning the entire house, I thought it would be a perfect opportunity of showing cleaning down there as well. So we're gonna go through Ronan's room, vacuuming here. I always start in the exact same place when I vacuum my home. I work my way back and it's kind of my routine. I can move quickly through it. It's just the way that I find I'm efficient at getting through this task. Keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back. I remember when we were staring photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. How are you guys doing? How are you holding up? And what is one thing that you're really focused on during this quarantine? For me. I know this sounds dramatic, but it's really changing me as a person to loosen up. I'm a very rigid and scheduled person because it helps me. It gives me stability. It gives me over control over the things I can well actually control. But in the midst of all of this, I'm letting things go. I'm letting Lego stay out on the table overnight. I'm letting puzzle pieces stay on the floor while I play with the kids. I just noticed that I'm loosening up a little bit and enjoying our time versus always trudging in an uphill battle. So I would love to hear from you guys on how you're coping, how you're hanging in there, and what's your overall sense and feeling right now during quarantine. Now that I'm done vacuuming, it's perfect timing. The sheets are done in the dryer. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bed before I move down to the first floor and then on to the basement. Still think of you, I want you coming back. I remember when we were staring photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back. You guys, I get questions about these things all of the time when people see them in my Instagram stories or on my channel, they wonder if they're for Breeze plugins. They're not. They're green air plugin diffusers and we love them. They're legitimately all over our house. We have two to three of them in our basement, one in our bedroom, one in the hallway in our entryway, one in our hallway upstairs. They're everywhere. I will go ahead and link them for you in the description box down below, but they are so powerful and so effective. I love to have them on whenever I'm cleaning. Now moving into my office, I'm gonna dust everything in here, which actually was pretty dusty and disgusting, so it was driving me nuts. I dread dusting this room, so it is one of those rooms I do put off just because I have so much camera equipment and audio equipment and all of the things that go in the behind the scenes of YouTube, and you'll see here on my shelving unit that I have to take 
everything off, dust it and put it all back on. And with the equipment, I just have to get into all of the nooks and crannies and dust all of these things. So I find myself slacking in this area. It felt so good to dust this space. So as you're watching this video, I would encourage you to find that space in your home that you really dread dusting and just rip off the band-aid and give it a go because I've come in this room every day since and I've been so relieved and I felt so much better having it dusted. Now that the dusting is done on my first floor, we're gonna move into vacuuming the carpeted area. This living room is full and jammed with toys right now. It has more things out than I would ever want to have out on a regular basis, but with us being in the home and doing homeschooling and projects, I just have to learn to live with it. We have games, we have magnet tiles, Jenga blocks, we have a school table, we have everything jammed in this space because Kaya's office is in the basement. So when he's down there working during the week, I try to keep us and do my best to keep us up here to not bother him when he's on conference calls. So I have a ton of things in here, both for play and for homeschool. So I'm just accepting our reality as it is and doing my best to clean around it. And then this ottoman takes an actual beating. We were going to get a custom ottoman from Restoration Hardware and my husband talked me out of it. And now in hindsight, four years later, I am so happy that we did not make that move. The kids jump on here. They drink smoothies on here. They make forts with this thing. They eat their snacks on top of it. They do coloring books. So I'm happy that we made the smart choice and got an affordable ottoman because seeing the beating that it takes, it doesn't pain me as much. Then I'm going to move into my office and give this a quick vacuum now that it's all dusted and clean. Now moving on to our basement and I have never in my life been more grateful for our walkout basement than I have in these last 32 days I think we're going on. As I mentioned, Kai's office is down here, but before he goes to work, after he goes to work, in between conference calls and on the weekends, we spend so much time in our basement. We have a media area, a full play area with a grocery store, a kitchen, toys, books, all of the things down here. And it's such a great way to break up the play for the kids. They're used to doing their school activities and more of our learning and education things. Upstairs and downstairs is just free range and open play, which I love. They can be creative. They can play independently, which they do really well whenever we're down here. So I'm going to give all of this a quick dust and I'm going to move through and vacuum this space as well. When we built this home, I don't think we really understood the type of carpeting that you can get, but the type of carpet we have isn't low ply. So the second you step on it, the vacuum lines are gone and all you can see is footprints. So when I say that vacuuming a space literally is my favorite thing to do, I am not joking around. For some reason, those beautiful vacuum lines just give me such a sense of peace and calming and again a little bit of control over my space like i know that i've accomplished something and i can visually see my accomplishments and i for some reason love vacuuming the basement i think it's because it's probably the largest space where we have carpet where i can vacuum and see all of the lines and see how beautiful everything looks but it doesn't last for very long and that's okay obviously i know it's clean and that's more important but just for that small amount of time, these vacuum lines mean everything. Thank you. 
So we've been home since March 10th, taking social distancing very seriously. So disinfecting these lights, which is, isn't about coronavirus, honestly, it's just about disinfecting them because I hadn't done it in a while, but I do like to about once a month or once every four to six weeks, go around and disinfect our light switches, our door handles, all of the handles in our home, likewise with all of the remote controls. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked this video, it would mean a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm if you would give it a really big thumbs up. If you like cooking, cleaning, and all things healthy living, then I think I'm your girl. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's right over here on the screen now. That way you don't miss a single video and I hope to see you back here next Thursday.